How you doing? My name is Rob Emmerich. I'm the Commercial and Fleet Manager with Progressive Auto Group. I get a lot of questions on leasing. Uh, leasing is really good for a lot of the businesses that I work with, and there are two main types of leases that might or might not work for you. The first one is open-ended lease, and the second one is a closed-ended lease. The similarities between the two are while the vehicle is being leased, the vehicle remains titled in the financial institution's name. Um, other than that, there aren't really too many similarities. A lot of the common questions I get are, how does the vehicle have to be used? For an open-ended lease, typically the vehicle's intended use is supposed to be for businesses, whereas a closed-ended lease, the vehicle can be used for either personal or business use. Can you modify a vehicle in any way when you're leasing it? On an open-ended lease, you can factor in the cost for approved modifications or upfits like a dump truck or a stake bed. Um, you can factor those into an open-ended lease. Closed-ended leases do not allow for any atypical depreciation or any type of specialized modifications for the most part. Um, how does residual value work on these types of leases? First of all, residual is how much a fixed asset is worth at the end of any lease term. An open-ended lease, the customer can set their own residual and it can go from a max determined value by the financial institution all the way down to zero. On a closed-ended lease, the residual is set up front by a third party source and you, you know it right away, you know what the residual is going to be at the end. Um, whereas again on an open ended lease you can set your own residual. Are there any additional charges and fees to either of these leases? Open ended leases don't have any fees. The customer isn't responsible for any mileage or wear and tear fees. The only thing the customer is responsible for is the residual value at the end of the term. Uh, closed ended lease the customer can be responsible for overages on agreed upon mileage or any excessive wear and tear. What terms are available? On open-ended lease, typically terms can be longer, up to 72 months. On closed-ended leases, for the most part, you can set the term to a maximum of 48 months. What are my options at the end of my lease? Typically, at the end of an open-ended lease, you have two choices. You can either buy the vehicle for whatever the residual that was set, or you can remarket the vehicle. If you set a residual for 25%, and that's $3,000, and the vehicle's worth $5,000, you'll get a check. Adversely, if the vehicle is worth $2,000, you'll owe the extra thousand, or you can buy it out yourself at the end, whatever makes the most sense. Closed-ended leases are a little bit different because you can buy the vehicle, you can just walk away and turn it in, you can trade it in and reap any equity benefits, or you can sell it yourself outright. Because these two leases are different and have a lot of different financial impacts, please consult your tax professional or your accountant as to which one makes the most sense for your business.